So all your answers were beautiful. Uh, probably I will repeat many things uh, to summarize uh, a bit. Uh, so, yes, Tantra, um, it's a deep work uh, on all bodies. <coughs> in Tantra, in Yoga, we recognize uh, many different bodies. Uh, not only physical, but also energetical, emotional, astral. <coughs> so um, we uh, work on all dimensions, on all levels, on all bodies, in all possible ways, in all possible energies. So, <coughs> yes, energies of the five elements. Uh, um, feminine, masculine, uh, active, passive, uh, we mix different polarities uh, to awaken the energy. So uh, one of the most important thing uh, is that we, um, in other massage, uh, we avoid the intimate parts of the body. It's uh, uh, mostly it's not allowed to touch there. It's uh, not uh, a, a good to work with the sexual energy. In Tantra, we uh, welcome this uh, beautiful, sacred uh, sexual power. One of the most uh, powerful energy what uh, human beings have. So we work with that energy. So we uh, awake that energy, we let it circulate and uh, not like it would be the goal in the erotic massage uh, we uh, let it go and uh, we lose it through the ejaculation or the peak orgasm. <coughs> but uh, we bring this energy upward to other chakras, uh, to the uh, second, the water, the sensuality, we bring uh, more energy to feeling pleasure, for the transformation, for our intimacy, for our emotions, then we may bring it to the solar plexus, the fire, to uh, empower ourselves to heal our ego, to have strong will, to have strong self-esteem, to feel good about ourselves. Then we may bring it to the heart. It's what we do at the beginning, to love ourselves, to connect with ourselves, to love our partners better, to have beautiful connection during the massage or during the love making. We may bring it to the show that uh, our communication will improve, that um, we will be able to uh, speak out the, our inner truth. <coughs> then we can express ourselves in any possible way we feel. Maybe through the dance, maybe through the painting. That we will feel flow, that we express and also 
we will listen, we will hear, we will understand, we will read the things beyond the lines. So we may bring it to the third eye, our intuition, uh, our imagination, visualization will improve. The connection with the spirituality, we will uh, uh, have better connection with uh, our soul, our spirit. And uh, we may bring it to the crown. And then we send the energy we, to the universe. And it's never lost. It's never lost. We share it. It goes. So uh, we have better connection with the universe. With uh, And then we, uh, we may feel more oneness. So yes, uh, it's... Uh, we work uh, uh, on the like touching the body. Sometimes we do the energetical touch and so on. Uh, but uh, we work on all dimensions, on uh, all aspects of our life, and we nourish uh, all those aspects. This is the purpose of tantra: to grow, to heal, to uh, liberate, uh, to unblock uh, those chakras. Uh, to balance uh, ourselves, to have more harmony, more connection within ourselves. That's what we were talking about. The body nourish the heart, nourish the mind and spirit. And this is beautiful connection, beautiful friendship it comes from that. Because the mind, yes, you give us so much beautiful energy. And uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, pleasure to uh, be in the body, be uh, here and now during the love making. That's why Tantra is so powerful, Tantric massage is also so powerful because we love to be there, we love to feel pleasure, we don't want to lose any moment. So we are here and now, not because it's good for us to sit and meditate, this is also very good. But when we want to be here and now, because we want to be, we don't want to lose any second, then we are here and now, like, uh, it's much easier. And yes, it's very powerful also. In a tantric massage, uh, it's very important to be here and now. So that's why the giver and receiver also, they all the time follow the touch, the place between your skin and the skin of the partner. Whenever uh, you start to think about something else, when you notice it, don't get annoyed with yourself. Just uh, come back to here and now and observe the touch maybe observe what is happening inside of you what maybe some sensations maybe uh, some emotions are rising up observe it. be here and now so um, it's not like a relaxing massage that the person may fell to sleep and you did very good work because you made the person so relaxed and the person is snoring. In tantric massage you all the time uh, awake the person when you feel that the person is floating away even with the faults. And when you feel that it's too much relaxed you do some other polarity to awake the person. And of course when you work with the sexual energy who would like to go to sleep? <laughs> so, um, yes, um, there are three important keys in Tantric Massage and also in uh, uh, Tantric Love Making uh, for uh, improving the energy flow. So, uh, it's uh, the breath, sound, 
Yeah. And the movement. So basically we dance with our body when we give the massage. And we sound with our breath. <sighs> you experience uh, how powerful uh, the movement and the breath is uh, during the Tantra Kriya Yoga exercises. This is what we do, you know, during the Tantra massage. We also can use that power. So, yes, um, it's uh, very beautiful uh, when we give uh, the tantric massage uh, the connection, as much connection as possible. So, basically, you give as much as possible unconditional love, sympathy, nice energy. You basically worship uh, divine body with your touch we always bring the energy upward uh, at the end the tantric massage is very beautiful way for us to experience uh, uh, the other higher ecstasies, uh, even these uh, other types of orgasms. Uh, and this sometimes speaks much better, uh, uh, is more con uh, uh, convincing uh, the other people than, uh, yes, uh, a lot of uh, theoretical books about how ejaculation is not good for you. So, when the, when the people experience for the uh, first time, maybe in their life, uh, uh, 40 minutes on one, or one hour, uh, much higher ecstasy than they ever experienced. And uh, sometimes they uh, don't have even erection. And they don't lose the energy, they feel after, like, wow, yeah, I, 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 I could do so many things, wow, I came tired and now I feel so fresh. After, uh, when they experience it, they, it's for them, wow, maybe it's good that I will practice some of this Tantra stuff. So yes, that's one of the purpose of giving the massage, to liberate uh, the person from this uh, addiction, from this conditioning, that it's only one uh, uh, kindergarten way. Sometimes uh, we um, may also work only with the energetical touch. If we uh, already master it a bit, some uh, some people uh, could be um, so blocked that they don't want to be touched, but they want to heal their sexuality. They want to unblock these blockages what they have. So this energetical touch is very beautiful way to uh, work on those people. There are many intentions of tantric massage. So, um, when there is a connection, both energies, receiver and giver, are merging. And when this happens, then beautiful things may happen. It may happen that uh, the person, will, uh, one and another, will expand in their ecstasy, in their love. They, uh, it, the healing may occur. So, release of the emotions, uh, it, what may heal some uh, past traumas, very often connected with the sexuality. Uh, expanding of consciousness, you may feel some uh, uh, spiritual experiences 
like, like feeling oneness, like uh, what is called in some teaching samadhi or nirvana. So you may you may have very high uh, enlightening states. And sometimes, um, uh, even uh, if uh, these experiences happen once in your life. If you are lucky to feel once that we are all one, then uh, yes, all your life starts to be like, hey, I, I love you mirrors, uh, your happiness is my happiness, so we want to make everyone happy, you don't want to make a, a, anyone pain because then you will feel pain, so that's why also these experiences what may happen during the tantric massage can empower your life uh, and uh, it's uh, in the end uh, <coughs> In my opinion, one of the most uh, deep way of uh, spirituality. Our lives has just begun. They'll take me high above. They'll take me high above. They'll take me high above to dance with the morning sun.